I get people saying, well, I aerated my, my beard just fine because uh, it, it splashed when I went into my carboy. And that's, um, you, you're not getting very much air in, in, your, in uh, your ward at that time. Um, so uh, I ran a series of tests uh, to kind of figure out what does it take to get the amount of uh, oxygen required by the yeast. Uh, we typically recommend 12 to 15 parts per million. Uh, the maximum that you can get with just air, uh, using air, is about eight parts per million, which will work for most beers and, and it's gonna work most of the time. Uh, but in order to saturate that beer to your eight parts per million, uh, it took uh, me uh, uh, shaking a carboy vigorously for 45 seconds. And that, that may not sound like a long time, but it's, it's quite a while of, uh, uh, of shaking a carboy. Um, but it, it does take a lot. Um, if you're using a, an aquarium pump and a, and a stone, it takes about five minutes to get, to get that air in there. So it takes quite a while. Um, um, and then, you know, in the course of that, then if you're in a carboy, you're probably spitting foam at the top. And um, so uh, I usually recommend um, shaking the carboy if, if you're not using oxygen. Um, or uh, if you are using pure oxygen, it's going to take about a minute to get um, about 15 parts per million in there. Uh, and then another method is uh, putting oxygen in the headspace of the carboy and then shaking it. And that way you can kind of get away from the, you know, you don't have to use your stone in the, in the carboy. Um, it, uh, so rather than using air, you're using pure oxygen to, to shake in. The, and shaking actually is pretty good at, at uh, dissolving oxygen in.